Because the moment we signed that, we paid for 50% of the outside, and that was not the intent. No, it's a long-standing... And long we were standing, swindled. And it, was a, long, yeah. it, it is a buttonhead state, an, and you're no, an, we're not taking the brunt of this now. So, you know what I can assure you is we've got two organizations that are separate from the city. They've been at loggerheads for years, and we got ourselves into a bit of a mess. I'm talking we as a society, the, the seniors and, and, and the people who care about the city. The seniors didn't so, get us in, so ourselves in the mess. No, no, no. What happened was that because of this legal wrangling, wrangling, we found ourselves without programming for you. What I agreed to do, and I'm committed to do, is trying to find a solution. So there's no break in programming that's so essential to your quality of life. So that's my commitment, and that's what I've been working on. Okay, so the on. communication we need is that kind of thing. That's because for 35 years, we were kept in the dark like stupid It's been going on since that way... nobody explained yeah. it until some high-priced lawyer in our last meeting yeah. talked to us like Have we, we were 10, one? and we figured it out. This is why... But we don't want to hear wrangling or crap again. We're happy to get rid of our board of directors who did not help us at all during this session. Yeah. I love them all. But we're not putting up with being shunted around anymore. Nobody yeah, wants right, you to be shunted. Know so that you don't want us to be shunted dollars, because we won't have it. Beach. So here, this is my commitment. This is her commitment. She's committing. So, but I need you to listen. I know. How about a solution where we get to I keep the club? To I, I need you to listen. About the people. Is the issue between East Village Place and the Golden Age Club needs to be resolved legally. A lot of the control is in the control of the receiver. No, you must listen, please. And so what we need to do is a short-term solution so you don't lose your programming. It is your lifeline. And that's why we're bringing forward these 25 groups to find out. We're going to cobble together. It'll be messy. You might have to go to the library for one program. You might have to go to Fort Calgary for another. We're going to work really hard to find solutions. Then we want to look at the long-term solution. You might be able to get why back in that move? building. Why? But why? we why? have why? to get why? some... No, 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 just listen. We have to get some legal issues fixed. First. You you say you try to get us in, if I understood you right. We're going to go to Fort Calgary for one program, move to Inglewood for another term. one. You know we what? Just want to stay. This is, that I is, know you want to stay, but it's, that's not, not, it's not our it's building. It's, it's not the city's building. It's all about the their ankles. What, what about the funding? Why, why did the city cut the funding off to the Golden Age? Because the Golden Age Club was in legal trouble. They've been in legal trouble already for centuries. And you guys shoved it under the table. You didn't want it. True. Was it 160,000, not, not 60,000 a year? Do you know what it was? Um, I am the youngest. Oh, I am the youngest. Yeah, we thought it was 60, but he just told me back and said it was actually 160. I don't know. About don't that. forget, we voted you in. You know what? I'm not voting for you anymore. Go out, out of my picture. I, yeah, I'm sorry I about that, but I'm going to continue regardless of that. I'm going to continue to try and help. Well, we've missed you actually because you haven't been able to come and talk to us I because was in you've your been building. on the other side. I've so. been in the we Murdoch Manor I was told and King that when Tower I just you that a couple we of weeks ago. I know, but now that there there was a legal fight and for a long time you were the other side, so we weren't no, allowed. I wasn't. That's what Carol we told me, that we couldn't talk oh, to actually, you because you were not no you the reason the I couldn't side. talk about the legal issue between the two parties well, somebody should have explained to us better what was well happening. I wish the golden age cup would but they didn't and and so what I think we have a bright future ahead of us we've got you know, two organizations have been struggling for years but we've got the East Village Neighborhood Association that wants to bring the new residents of East Village will be moving in in a year with the existing residents to create something even better. So we might end up something with even better. That would be certainly my goal. Drew, uh, yeah. I have a question. You were saying that maybe you will find different places for us to go. Yes, for now. Now, I, we have many, many people who can't walk who are wheelchairs. Yes. Would you we're, be able to provide transportation? That's what we're talking about. So, we're talking about a little bus yes. so that you, we okay. can just and take people to the grocery store and that, that's so what we could Calgary, do. Absolutely. Yep. So people that are disabled because we're so close. 
living at Murdoch Manor, yeah. he's able to go across the street. So can you promise that? I can. That's why we're having this meeting tomorrow, is we've got a whole bunch of city departments who are coming up coming out we've got all the agencies and we have agencies are lining up wanting to help see the so other thing we I need want an agency that's financially stable too. we yeah. have other people we we've got the this adult we've we got this the, list but we have the adult people that count you the yes. people with disabilities physical and mental Disabilities. So, are they going to be taken care of too? Well, that's certainly my goal. Well, but what we've got, we've got this list. Yes, I just gave this, and so what? We're, we're, I've, I've said in my note to all these different groups who are coming out tomorrow, we're not going to let you leave. It's actually in my note with a little smiley face at the end. But I've said we're not letting you leave until we find a solution. So that's what we're doing. So we are got the this seniors, list. are we invited to your meeting? We need a small I'm group. Representing the yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm and Wendy's so you guys coming too. Wendy's coming too. Our I will be at the meeting tomorrow. And Drew and I have committed to something. We're going to work together and find a solution. On Tuesday we have a meeting. Well, that's and we are going to put all the information on the table. That's what we're working on. And we're going to hold them accountable. But they're working on it. Yeah. And we're gonna get. We are going to make sure on Tuesday when you come to our meeting. You have a good that advocate you have here. Your answers. I, I just want to make sure that everybody here is included. Do you know what? I think it's going to be messy. I think we have more than that list yeah. actually that we're looking and, but at touching. But the goal would be to make this way bigger than just the stuff. Because yep. we've got more than one organization now. That's, we're that's we're committed to, to our fitness program. Yeah. That we are twice a week that with Alberta Hill. So that's going to come to an end. You know what we were even talking about is maybe CMLC because things were going wrong and uh, the board of directors was not responsible anymore. I'm not saying they went rogue, but they wouldn't allow any members to go to the meetings. I was threatened with uh, being arrested. I was physically moved around so that I would not go back to the room. And they made people that I brought with me cry. And uh, we're older people and we don't need that kind of hassle. So I only tried twice and after that, being beaten down and yelled at, uh, old white men can run it if they want to because I'm not going back. They never listened to a word we had to say and they were cantankerous in every annual general meeting that we ever held, including this last one. So it's important for us to take a stand because people have been, I think that this was planned from the very beginning, that after we couldn't handle the lease, they'd be free of all these old people hanging around in the area. And that's how we feel. And uh, Drew tells a good story, but we have not been able to talk to her or find out what's going on or see who's on our side or find out where we can get help. I'm on a fixed income and I cannot afford a lawyer. We can't afford a lawyer and they have lots of them, it appears. So we are out and going to have our programs we're hearing here and there, wherever they can cobble together rooms. We are people who deserve respect. We don't want cobbled together rooms. We want our building that we worked a long time to help build and to help be in a, you know, a condo agreement with. Anything less than getting our building back, we will not be happy with. And is that what the people of the city, this city want? Their seniors unhappy because the city is being rude and mean? Don't kick seniors out. Margaret, can you talk at all about <laughs> what, what, um, what it means, especially, you know, younger people may not be aware, what does it mean for seniors to kind of have that daily interaction with each other who might not be able to see their family um, as much as they need to, especially in a central location? Well, the housing down here is not just seniors. It is also subsidized people who sometimes are much younger and have a lot of different uh, issues to deal with. And we try as best we can to accommodate everyone's needs wherever we go. Even on the march, we had to make sure that we were going fast enough or slow enough. The Golden Age Club makes it a good, safe place for people to come. We have this wonderful art class that we've helped improve the community with. We're always going out with our the things that we've made to try and brighten up people's lives. People who have never come to any programs have decided to come now because 
there is community there, and community is never more important than when you reach the older age, because the children are too busy, we don't want to bother them. Uh, we have a fabulous community here with young people and their dogs, and uh, of course we aren't allowed to have dogs when you get older because nobody will take them, cats. But we have a wonderful community here where we can see and do all of that. And we belong here. We don't want to be jammed in somewhere else where we don't belong. And people with wheelchairs can't go everywhere in the city. Even getting here was quite an outing for some of the people. So. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I came in late. Let's ask your name again. Margaret Booth. Margaret Booth, and how do you spell it? Um, I like Margaret, M A R G A R E T, yep. middle initial A. Yep. And then B O O T H. Excellent. And uh, do you live in the area nearby, or do you. Uh... I was a volunteer at the Golden Age oh, Club, and I take some programs there, and I live in Inglewood. Oh, very cool. Thank you very much, Margaret. Mm, thanks for coming. Tomorrow? On the 12th. We divide it. Well, things are kind of calming down here now. Check metronews.ca later on for a story.